The next presentation we are having uh, comes from another leading module manufacturer, um, and that is uh, Astrology Chin Solar. We are very happy to have with us um, Sheng He, who is the Cell R&D um, Deputy Director at Astrology. Um, um, Sheng is um, responsible for optimizing um, TopCon at, uh, at Astronogy, and he's also working on perk solar cell efficiency optimization. So we have a uh, uh, great background here. Um, Sheng, the floor is yours. Hello, hey, uh, Hoster, can you hear me? Yes, very well. Okay. So uh, I will uh, share the presentation first. Mm -hmm. Can you see the presentation in the screen? Yes, uh, you just have to move to presentation mode, then everything's fine. OK, yeah. Uh, so uh, first, uh, thank you very much uh, for the Taiyang News uh, to invite me to uh, do the presentation. Uh, I'm from the Qin Solar, um, uh, uh, main in charge of the uh, Perk and the Topcom cell uh, development. Um, uh, today, uh, I will give a presentation uh, for the, uh, the title is a simple uh, introduction of uh, Topcom technology. Uh, so the presentation include four parts. Uh, the first part is the, the trend of the different wafer and module size. Also the, the trend of high efficiency technology. The, the second is the uh, end top count cell efficiency progress. And the third is end top count module uh, research progress. The fourth is uh, the about chain, also chain entry, uh, introduction. Uh, the first part, as you know, the, uh, in the previous several years, um, the wafer size increased a lot uh, from the uh, 156 <clears throat> to count 182 and 210. Uh, this one, uh, because uh, we use the big wafer, uh, it can uh, make the cell cost, production cost lower, also the module uh, production costs cost lower. Also, it will it can make the power station the BOS and the LCOE uh, lower. So uh, that's why currently uh, many uh, companies have uh, built a new uh, factory to do the one eighty two and the two ten the the uh, cell building and the, also the model build. But in the future. Uh, how how do the wafer size uh, the increase? Maybe the two uh, seventeen or two thirty? Maybe uh, yes. Currently, uh, some company are doing this study already. Uh, as the wafer size increase, so I think uh, the module size also increase a lot. Uh, also, the module power, of course, the module power also increased a lot. Currently, we can see uh, the one A2 with us, uh, the module power can achieve the, uh, can achieve to the 145 watt, maybe plus, maybe uh, currently some company have achieved the 550 watt. <clears throat> For the uh, two, 210 with uh, so the, the module power can achieve 600 watt and uh, 660 watt, yeah. Uh, so in the future, if the wafer size increase uh, further, maybe the module power increase to uh, more than 700 uh, watt. So um, yeah, this one also it can, it have, uh, uh, cause some uh, challenge on the trans, uh, yeah, uh, some production, uh, some the uh, transparent uh, transport, uh, also the packing. But I think uh, uh, a lot of this uh, 
difficulties will be uh, solved by the companies. <coughs> so uh, we have um, <coughs> mentioned the uh, wafer size and module size increase. Also uh, for the technology, uh, currently uh, uh, from the PV link information, uh, so they have uh, forecasted the module uh, shipment uh, for the P type and N type. Also forecast the N type cell or uh, type module uh, some the, the the ratio. Uh, so from uh, from this uh, information, we can see the company uh, the P type module uh, shipment is the mainstream. Uh, also uh, in the next five years, also uh, the P type module is also the mainstream already. Uh, also, uh, but you we can see the N type. N type module shipment will uh, increase year by year. Uh, 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 within the N type module, uh, the AGT and Topcom are the two main uh, uh, module products uh, in the future. But we can see that the Topcom module uh, will be uh, uh, a, a big, uh, a little, maybe a bigger market share. Uh, in the uh, future technology and production. Uh, the second, uh, so is the, we can, I will give uh, some uh, introduction for the M Topcom cell research progress. Uh, first, oh, sorry. First, let's interview uh, the, the, uh, the P-type sales development history uh, from 18% uh, to 24%. So first, uh, we can see the 2004, uh, the cell efficiency is only the 16%. But uh, uh, to the, the time to the 2014 to 2016, so the PERC uh, technology and the, the bifacial technology, also the selective emitter technology have been uh, implemented in the production. So the efficiency increased to the 21%. <clears throat> then uh, so in 2020, uh, uh, so the, uh, the cell efficiency achieved to the 20, uh, 23%, currently uh, uh, until now, the uh, cell efficiency increased to 23.5%. Uh, uh, but uh, from the 25% to 24%, uh, so we, we think uh, that the increase uh, speed is much lower than before. So uh, if the, uh, the, the PUC sales, the cell efficiency increase uh, very, maybe very slow, then what we will do next? We will do uh, which technology? So this one, we will uh, talk about the uh, high cell efficiency uh, Topcom and uh, also maybe uh, AGT uh, cell, uh, cell technology. Uh, in in chain solar, uh, so uh, currently we have the super perk four uh, cell product. So the cell efficiency can achieve twenty three point six percent. Now this is the champion cell efficiency uh, from our mass production. So this result have been verified from the by the National Institute of uh, Metrology and also verified by the Fujian Metrology Institute. Uh, so, uh, from, so uh, a lot of the uh, labs and the institute and also uh, universities, also companies, I think uh, all the time do, do the cell efficiency, cell, uh, high efficiency te technology uh, study. So uh, we can see that uh, so the PERC, uh, the highest efficiency uh, have, has been achieved, uh, created by the Longji, uh, the cell efficiency 24.06%. Uh, 
uh, the and the end type include the uh, uh, AGT, Topcom, IPC. Uh, the sale efficiency is much higher. Uh, is uh, uh, more than twenty five percent, more than twenty six twenty six percent. But uh, so um, if we uh, for the tendency sale, if we uh, just uh, do put put two uh, high sale efficiency uh, technology together to uh, make the tandem sales, the efficiency uh, can be higher than the 27%. So why the uh, N-type cell, uh, the cell efficiency is higher than the P-type cell efficiency. Uh, so uh, I, uh, from the ITRPV, so they have uh, done some uh, comparison from the recombination current density. Uh, from this uh, comparison, uh, we can see the N-type cell, the recombination current density is much lower than the P-type cell. Uh, so this one is uh, one reason, uh, one main reason uh, for the N-type cell higher efficiency. But also, of course, uh, it, it, for the N-type cell, uh, there have uh, some other uh, reason for the high efficiency. So here I only put, put point out this uh, recombination current density difference. Um, so I think uh, a lot of people know the top cell and the AGT cell already very well. Uh, so I, I just list the structure, just to show you uh, uh, some difference, drug difference. Uh, but I, 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 I will note that the current the top cell and the AGT cells, the efficiency is comparable. Uh, uh, will be uh, also the 24.5% currently. So uh, I think the, these two cells can be achieved much higher uh, efficiency uh, in the future. Uh, so for the n -topcom and the AGT, uh, so they also have the uh, band the band bending uh, and also the uh, tolo oxide uh, to do the preservation uh, on the wafer surface. Uh, but for the, okay, we have uh, talked about the, the top car and the AGT. Uh, also currently we have the PERC, but uh, for the three, type of the cell technology. So which one is more uh, easily to for the uh, cell production? So we have compared these three uh, cells, some, um, uh, yes, uh, compared the three type of the, the, the cells. Uh, so uh, we have uh, from the um, uh, eight items to do the comparison. Uh, we can see very clearly that the top comb has uh, lower uh, degradation, higher efficiency, higher uh, bifacial coefficient than the PERC. Top comb has lower equipment investment than the AGT. Also, the top comb production lines can be upgraded from the current PERC production. So because of this, uh, top comb uh, is easier to be massive, uh, massively ma manufactured compared to the AGT. Oh, I think this year, uh, a lot of the com uh, some companies have uh, expanded the Topcom uh, production uh, already. So, uh, so the, the, the maybe uh, several gigawatt, uh, maybe more than 10 gigawatt. So the AGT, the expand uh, the uh, capacity is much lower. Um, so the topcom and AGT process flow, uh, we all we all know that AGT process flow uh, is actually uh, very simple. So only the uh, four steps, but the topcom process flow um, have the more than four uh, more than ten steps. So uh, topcom, uh, we uh, maybe it has some difficulties. Uh, also, it have some. Uh, advantages. Uh, the difficulty because it did have uh, more steps. 
So the control of each steps is much uh, diff more difficult, but also uh, it has uh, more steps. So the uh, efficiency optimization can be or can be more, uh, yeah, easily more, more uh, from the each steps. So the, uh, the top com uh, also include the I pony and D pony. Uh, they also have different some uh, steps. Uh, I pony uh, many is uh, means that uh, use a tool oxide and then uh, do the intrinsic polysync and temperization. After pony temperation and the tool oxide, then uh, do, do the uh, phosphorus doping. Uh, this one is two steps. But for the uh, deep poly, uh, it will doing the tool oxide and the in situ phosphorus uh, with polysilicon. So it uh, do the so it is do the polysilicon deposition and the phosphor doping at the same time. So after the deposition and the phosphor doping, uh, we'll use the wet cleaning and uh, linening to uh, make the. Uh, the phosphorus and the polysilicon, uh, yes, more uh, feasible. So for the topcom, uh, I think a, a lot of the companies have uh, give a lot of the effort to achieve the highest efficiency. Uh, here I have uh, I just listed uh, some highest efficiency record uh, from different uh, Chinese company uh, currently. Uh, the highest the top com uh, efficiency record is from the uh, Jinko. The efficiency is uh, 25.4%. So I think the efficiency will be uh, increased uh, much uh, um, very fast in the future. So uh, I think this one is very interesting uh, for the uh, each company to achieve this record. For Chin Solar, Mm, also, we are doing the uh, topcom uh, development. So currently, uh, our pilot line, the, the uh, efficiency can be achieved uh, to the 24.7 line percent. The bifacial coefficient uh, is the 85.5 percent. So this result uh, has been verified by Fujian Metrology Institute. So uh, for the average efficiency, efficiency uh, from the pilot line uh, is the 24.6%. The VUC can be achieved uh, to uh, 715 uh, millivolt. I think uh, also, currently also we are doing the further development to, uh, uh, to achieve 25% uh, plus. So, um, so currently we have achieved the twenty four point six percent, but uh, in uh, we 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 are uh, considering uh, how to achieve the efficiency further, uh, maybe twenty five percent plus. So we have to do some uh, simulation to uh, to uh, to give to give us uh, the optimization direction. So we have uh, listed the six uh, the six items, six directions uh, to do the further optimization for the top council efficiency. So it, it includes the, the front recompilation losses, uh, the bulk recompilation losses, the real recompilation losses, the front recidive losses, real recidive losses, and also the optical losses. We can see here uh, the front side is more important in the uh, for the top com cell efficiency. We can see the first, the, the second, the third is, is uh, all about the first uh, front side. Uh, based on the result, uh, so uh, we have uh, simulated that uh, uh, the, each items can give uh, how many uh, cell efficiency gain uh, from, from the uh, optimization. So the front recombination optimization uh, can give maybe uh, 0.25% uh, uh, efficiency gain. Also, uh, the other five, uh, 
uh, optimizing in direction also can give very obvious the uh, uh, cell efficiency gain. Uh, so the cell efficiency uh, uh, optimization are still on the way. I think we are uh, doing our effort to do uh, to make the much higher the efficiency. But the, uh, another thing is that for the top com, uh, the uh, cell uh, because the front side and the, the rear side both use the silver pace. So the uh, pace uh, cost is much higher than the uh, perk. So a lot of, a lot of thing is the we need to uh, reduce the, the silver pace laid down. Uh, from the start to uh, current, we have uh, reduced the uh, 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 silver laid down uh, from the 145 uh, milligram to the one. 115 uh, milligram. Oh, this one is for the M6 wafers, six wafers. Yes. Uh, so, uh, so from the 145 to 115, so we have used the screen design optimization, uh, scraper optimization, and also bus bar finger uh, design optimization and paste optimization. I think this one can give a lot. Uh, pace laid down reduction uh, contribution. Uh, in the next steps, uh, I think the SMBB, uh, SMBB we uh, can give our further um, pace laid down. Yeah. So this SMBB use the um, uh, more bus bar and the less fingers yeah, to, to, to uh, achieve the, the, the lower uh, pace laid down. Uh, yeah. So, uh, but the efficiency will decrease a little, maybe less than the 0.05%, but this one can be uh, optimized, uh, maybe uh, less than 0.05%. So uh, besides the, besides the pace laid down uh, reduction, also we have uh, some others uh, way to to uh, reduce the metallization cost. Uh, the one way is uh, doing plating. So yeah, currently uh, some company are uh, doing some plating R&D uh, already. So uh, this one is the use the nickel copper uh, tin to, to replace silver finger and bus bar. Uh, this one where uh, it means use the other cheaper metal to uh, replace the um, silver, the metal. Uh, another way is the uh, use the pattern transfer printing, also called PDP. Uh, it use uh, it use the one film uh, with the empty trench. Uh, then uh, you we we put uh, we put the silver in the uh, empty trench first, and then. Uh, uh, put uh, you uh, so put the layer uh, with the silver on the wafer surface and then use the uh, laser uh, scanning to trans uh, transfer this silver on the wafer surface. This way can make the finger width much lower and the finger height much higher. So this this one this method, uh, can make the silver laid down uh, reduced by the 20%, maybe more. So uh, also this way also can uh, give some efficiency gain in the future uh, because the uh, optical loss uh, for the PDP will be much less. Okay, so the third part, uh, the, the, the second part, the second part is uh, um, cell research progress. Yeah, so we have uh, introduced the, the cell efficiency and also the cost uh, reduction. The third part, uh, we uh, transfer to the NTOPCOM module research progress. So this one is mainly uh, from the uh, chain solar result. Uh, chain solar uh, have the 
uh, single glass design, uh, single glass module, and uh, double glass module for the end top comb. Uh, so the 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 wafer size uh, have the uh, one six six and also one eight two. So what one six six the um, single glass uh, module. The module power is uh, can be can achieve four hundred and seventy five watt. Uh, the double glass also we call twin or twin module. Uh, the double glass uh, module power can achieve the four hundred seventy plus watt. So uh, one eighty two the single glass uh, module power can achieve the one hundred seventy five watt. Uh, also the Double glass uh, module can achieve the uh, 570 watt. Yeah. So this module uh, both, uh, all use the multi bus bar, half cut, uh, low destructive cutting, and the high, high density intercollection. And also use the high uh, efficiency top comp cell. So we have also uh, compared the, um, the top comb uh, module uh, power generation and also uh, compared with the puck. Uh, so from this, from this, uh, okay, this result is from our uh, R and D power station uh, in our uh, beside our uh, beside our factory. So the. Uh, they have the several days uh, result. So the, the result show that the, the top comb uh, module uh, power generation uh, per wall was uh, about 400, uh, four percent uh, 4 higher than the uh, perk module because uh, the top comb module has higher weak light response, lower working temperature and the lower temperature coefficient. So uh, in the low irradiance, we also compared the TOPCOM uh, module and the PERC module. So the TOPCOM module obtained 3% three, uh, 3 power gain compared to the uh, PERC module. Uh, here we uh, compare the, the top comb module and puck module in the uh, temperature and uh, coefficient, uh, and also the uh, the module power um, under the different uh, temperature coefficient. So the uh, working temperature of top comb module was one point six degrees centigrade lower than the puck module. Uh, so uh, because of this, the top com module can obtain uh, more than 0.6% power gain. Yeah, we can see from the curve very obvious. So um, the top com temperature mm, is working temperature is much lower. Okay, uh, from here, um, because uh, we have uh, done a lot of the uh, cell, uh, top count cell study and the uh, module study also uh, include also the power study. So uh, we are planning for the uh, top count cell and the module production. Um, so here uh, is our new uh, manufacturing uh, uh, base. Uh, so it will play the two gigawatt top count cell. Uh, and the six gigawatt module um, in uh, 2022. The six gigawatt module will be uh, uh, implemented to uh, production in uh, quarter one. Uh, so the top council will be implemented to the production in uh, quarter two uh, next year. Okay, uh, the first part is about chain. Oh, just to give some as a, a simple introduction for the chain group and chain solar. So first the chain group, chain group is uh, our big group. Uh, so uh, the LU, LU sales uh, 2020 is the 13.8 uh, billion US dollars. 
So it uh, it is a uh, Forbes uh, Forbes Asia listed company top uh, fifty. Yeah, it has the uh, thirty thousand employees. So the Qing Solar is uh, belong to the Qing Group. So it uh, it found it is founded uh, in two thousand and six. Currently, the module capacity is uh, twelve gigawatt. Uh, the employee company is uh, seven thousand. Um, the revenue of the twenty twenty is uh, fourteen point one billion renminbi. So the Qing Solar have the uh, four base uh, production base currently. Uh, one is a Hangzhou base in Zhejiang province. Uh, the second is a Hainan base also in in Zhejiang province. Uh, the third is in Thailand. The fourth is in Yancheng, uh, Jiangsu province. Uh, yeah. So the Qing Solar. Mm, not only has the uh, cell and the module production, it also have uh, some uh, a, a big group uh, to do the power station. It, it include the rooftop uh, power station uh, group also have the um, the power the the, the um, floor uh, power station big power power station uh, uh, groups. Yeah. So that's all. Thank you. Shang, thanks uh, a lot for this uh, great presentation. Also great uh, seeing you are investing and expanding into TopCon. So uh, right fit for this uh, day to day. Again, as we are running a little bit late. Um, if there are any questions, it would be great if you could answer them on um, the chat.